As to the Cox firing, I would like to summarize the essential facts as I saw them. Robert Bork took no part in the negotiations leading to President Nixon's order to dismiss Mr. Cox. By the time Mr. Bork came into the picture as acting attorney general after my resignation and after the resignation of my deputy, William D. Ruckelshaus, those negotiations and my meetings with the President and General Haig on the afternoon of October 20, 1973, had convinced me beyond any doubt whatsoever that the President was bound and determined to accomplish Mr. Cox's dismissal by one means or another. A refusal by Mr. Bork to carry out the President's order or any delay on his part in doing so would not have thwarted the President's determination. This was Mr. Bork's understanding, it was also Mr. Ruckelshaus's and my understanding when Mr. Bork elected to carry out the President's order. <clears throat>